Hello, Aries. So, for you guys' this reading, I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot, okay? Yeah. I'm using a Psychic Tarot Oracle deck here. And we're going to see what energy is coming towards Aries, okay, for the month of June. What energy is coming towards Aries for the month of June? First week of June. What energy is coming towards Aries? Sun, moon, and rising for the first month of the first week of June. Sun, moon, and rising, please. Sun, moon, and rising, please. All right, the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the truth card, okay? So maybe there could be some obstacles and challenges in regards to someone speaking their truth or giving someone a second chance. Alright, so the first card that we have, guys, we have Throat Chakra. So this is I Speak, okay? Maybe you have something to say. You have something to say. But I feel like the challenge here is the Two of Swords. You're not sure if you should say it. You're in the feeling mentally conflicted about it. Like, I'm not sure if I should say it. I want to say it. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Or there is just a sense of someone having, um, being in a level of power, a position of power or having the courage or having the strength. So maybe um, you're not sure if you have the courage or the strength. Like you could be feeling like trapped or feeling afraid to say what it is that you want to say. Um, but there is something that I feel like you guys want to say. You're just not sure about it. Okay, some of you guys could have been dealing with the Pisces. Here with the shadow card, which is the card, the moon card, or there could have been something hidden. Um, there could have been, um, you could have been dealing with your emotions because this does talk about your subconscious as well. Clarifying that, we have the heart chakra. Heart chakra talks about I love. I love. So maybe some of you guys have been dealing with the Pisces. Um, but maybe you emotionally, you were telling yourself that how you love or care about something or someone. Clarify heart chakra, please, for Aries. All right, we got the two of wands. The two of wands talks about making a decision. So maybe you were deciding, you felt like you need a decision needs to be made on whether or not how you felt about could have possibly been a Pisces or your emotions. Like you couldn't, feeling unsure about your emotions. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Virgo here with the Solitude card, which is the card of the Hermit. Um, but maybe there's been some isolation. Maybe there has been some, you've been doing some soul searching or taking some time off. Maybe you're trying to build some type of foundation. Okay. Maybe there's something that you're working towards. But it seems like there's going to be some positive movement forward here. Okay. There's something that you're trying to manifest here with the awareness card, which is the card of the magician. Um, there's something that you're trying to manifest. I feel like something is going to be moving forward. It's going to be some positive movement forward. Okay, so you could be feeling like things are happening really, 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 really fast. Or there's some communication coming in. Maybe you're communicating with someone. Um, this is quick forms of communication. Text message, social media, emails. Um, but this is things happening quickly here. And we have the wisdom card, which is the card of the Hierophant. So there could be a Taurus involved. Maybe you're communicating with the Taurus. Um, but there is like a sense of, um, this also talks about commitment and marriages. So maybe someone is, um, you could be 
having a conversation about some type of long-term commitment here. What if I don't have it? Father yeah, we got the two of cups. So maybe there is a relationship on your mind and there could be someone that you're talking about making some type of commitment to. And the eight of wands came up again here at the bottom of the deck. But with the page of swords, so there could be an air sign involved, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, but this, this talks about um, speaking your truth, it talks about spying, and talks about gossiping as well. It talks about gathering information, but I feel like maybe you are um, could be having a conversation about a long-term commitment or marriage, or there's um, some either communication or things are happening really, really fast. Something is happening really, really fast, okay? So external to you, they could feel like, you know, this is a brand new opportunity we're here with the prosperity begins. This is the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn's energy. But um, they, they could be feeling as if this is something, a golden opportunity. This would be something good. Clarifying that we have the solar plexus. This is saying I can. So they're feeling like, you know, they can have a, prosper uh, you know a prosperous new beginning here okay something stable but there could be you know some blockages here with the disruption card which is the tower card um which here with the light card so maybe something is broken down and something comes to light or maybe you're fearing that something could be broken down and come to the light or maybe you're feeling like you know there's there's something that could be hidden and you're you know don't want something to come out here with the sun card and for the light card maybe you're scared of something all of a sudden coming out clarify the light card why is light here for aries all right we have the magician the magician talks about manifesting taking initiative having all the tools that you need so maybe i'm sensing that you could be fearing that Something is an illusion. Something could be an illusion. Like there's this wall up, um, but when the wall comes tumbling down, then the sun comes out, and that's when you know clarity is gained. Um, so I'm sensing like there could be, you could be feeling like there's some blockages, or you could be feeling as if there is um, like a false wall or something that's put up, and you're you could possibly be feeling afraid that if that wall is broken down, then there's going to be a new sense of clarity that is going to be um, gained. But it's possible like you're not you you want to keep this you could possibly want to keep this guard up, keep this gate up, um, because maybe you don't want something to be revealed to someone. Maybe there's something that's hidden. All right, we have New Beginnings, which is the Fool card. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius. But I'm sensing like, maybe you're. it's a new beginning that could be on the horizon. But there's something that needs, some clarity that needs to be gained about something. There's some clarity that needs to be gained. But your outcome here, we have the Destiny card, which talks about... Um, things being in your favor, fate, the wheel spinning, good luck. And then we have the temptation card, which is the card of Capricorn. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. But this also talks about lust. It also talks about um, toxic energy. It talks about negative energy. Um, it talks about having ties to things, addictions, okay? Clarify the temptation card, please. Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn. Clarify temptation. Ooh. Maybe you guys are looking for some type of clarity, some type of truth, okay? Maybe there is something that needs to come out, okay? There is some clarity that needs to be gained. Something that's meant to happen. 
see we got the hope card here which is the card of the star card which is the card of aquarius some of you guys could be dealing with an aquarius um but this is like wishes coming true um having faith having hope so i'm sensing like there's some truth that needs to come out Clarify triumphant success. All right, we have the sacrifice card. So this talks about things being on hold, delays, or there could be a Pisces involved. So maybe there's a sense of someone's been waiting for the waiting to reveal a truth or waiting for a truth to be revealed. Somebody knows that there's gonna be some obstacles, know that there's some obstacles and challenges that they need to get over. Okay. There's something that needs to come out, and I feel like you're not sure if you can say it. Try to find a mental conflict. Third eye chakra. You know that it could possibly like cause confusion mentally. Like that's the challenge. You know, if you say something, it's gonna just like be in the other person's head. They're gonna be in their head about it, and you could be like, you know, just feeling like mm, stuck about it. Like I don't know if I want to say it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna say it. But there's something that I feel like you want to say. Clarify throat chakra. All right, we have balance, which is the card of um, justice. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra or there's trying, you're possibly, there's possibly a karmic situation here. There could be something that you could be trying to balance out. Some of you guys could be dealing with the court systems. Um, but there's a sense of trying to find some balance in the situation. You want, you maybe want to talk about how to work something out, how to balance the scales with someone. Maybe there's, like I said, a karmic situation um, that you possibly want to address um but i feel like there's something about it that you just feel like unsure about you feel like this person could would you know move on if you were to say something okay Let's get some advice from the angels. I'm using Indigo Angel Oracle card, Oracle cards here. And we're going to pull the card. Let's see what the angels have to say. What message do you have for Aries for the first week of June? From now up until the first week of June, what message do you have for Aries? All right, believe in yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. And I'm going to read it straight from the book here. The messages in the book that come from the book are so powerful. I love it. All right, so we got believe in yourself. Okay, so when you receive this card, the angels want you to see yourself and your potential the way they do. They view you as an unlimited person with infinite potential. Right now, the most important thing you can do is realize this for yourself. Ask the angels to release any doubt or fear you have about your life and your path. These doubts are part of being an indigo because you're strongly affected by negative energy. By believing in yourself, you're telling the angels that you wish to live up to your full potential in this life. And they will take immediate action to guide you accordingly, okay? Believe in yourself. All right, guys. So that is going to be the message that I have for you for now up until the first week of June. Okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if this message resonates, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know where y'all from. Um, share, subscribe. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, which my prices are at a discounted rate for the month of May, that information will be below in a Dropbox. Okay. All right, guys. Ciao for now.